Hello, everybody. This is Chaplain Bob. Listen, I uh, completed my local move, and uh, also I have a new YouTube channel. And uh, for reasons I'm not going to go into, uh, the one this particular channel now it's uh, getting rather large. So also. The new channel is where I'm going to start uploading my new audio studies. So you might want to check it from time to time. And if you subscribe, that would be great. And then you can uh, be notified when I put new stuff up. I do have one study that's already on this channel. Plus, I have a new study that's not on this channel. So if you're interested, you can check it out. So thank you for your prayers, and uh, I'm uh, going to do my next study. It's going to be on the dual nature of Jesus, who is the Christ. Is he man? Is he God? Is he both? Actually, what's interesting is he has attributes of both. Now, one of the things about, like, for example, the Jehovah's Witnesses, they will point out only the human attributes of Christ and say, see, see, this proves that he was, you know, he's, he's a man. Well, actually, they teach he's Michael the Archangel, but, and uh, anytime he does something divine, they, they point, well, you know, he's Michael the Archangel, he's got angelic powers. And one of the bad things about these type of groups is they flood their membership with their own literature. Like their Awake magazine. And their groups are so busy reading their own literature that they don't bother to read the Bible. Very few of them have time to read the Bible after they they were, uh, I think it's what, the Awake magazine or what have you. They just flood them with this stuff because they hope that they won't read the Bible from cover to cover because you know what? When you do, even their own Bible will prove that Jesus Christ is God because the Bible will say God created all things. And then the Bible will say Jesus created all things. Well, if God created all things and Jesus created all things, guess what? Jesus is God in the flesh. But they'll show him, oh, well, see, Jesus prayed to the Father. So he's, he's not God. He's a man. Would God pray to himself? But then what they do is they divine, um, deny the Godhead. For example, man was made in God's image. The Bible clearly, clearly defines the three different parts of man as being a body. Everybody has a body. The Bible says that man has a spirit. The Bible says that man has a soul. And it differentiates between the three different parts. Body, soul, spirit. Well, if man was made in God's image and man has three parts, why can't God? Why can't God be Father, Son, and Holy Ghost? Why not? And they will totally deny that. The Jehovah's Witnesses, that is. So, you know, it's some things to be considered. But the uh, I'm definitely going to have to do a quick study on what some people call the Trinity. I don't like using that word because it's not in the Bible, but Godhead is in the Bible. And Jesus most definitely had a body, he had a spirit, and he had a soul. And so does every single one of you that's in, alive. So, okay, well, click on the link below and check out the new channel. And um, I'm going to probably do Jesus Christ as man maybe first as a part one, and then maybe do Jesus Christ as God part two, maybe.
depends. Every time I plan on doing a small study, it ends up being an hour. So, and what's interesting is that I just barely cover the basics. So, you know, you could do two, three hours study on pretty much any subject in the Bible. So, all right, well, this is Chaplain Bob, and uh, please check out the new channel. Click the link below and uh, check out my new studies. All right, all blessings, praise, glory, and honor to Jesus who is the Christ. In his precious name, amen.